Hello, my name is Shalendra Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to upgrade AKS cluster. So let's start. So Kubernetes uses the standard semantic versioning where, where there is a major version, minor and the patch. As you can see on your screen, the current version which is running on our AKS demo cluster is 1.21.9, which means one is the major version, 21 is the minor and nine is the patch version. So what are these major, minor and the patch versions? Major versions are usually released within two or three years where there is a major change and sometimes there is no backward compatibility with the previous version. However, minor versions are updated frequently, like every three months in the case of the Kubernetes, where the security updates, different patches, small features are provided with the backward compatibility. And third one is the patch version, which is updated very frequently, which is like almost every week. This is mostly the bug fixes and the security fixes. So if you are in a particular version, it's highly recommended to update the patch versions because then you will have all the bug fixes and the security patches available. And you can plan the minor version upgrades in the future. So if your cluster is currently running on 1.18 and you want to go to 1.22, then first you have to upgrade it to 1.19, then 1.20, then 2.1. That means step by step, you have to upgrade your cluster. And it's highly recommended that you should upgrade your cluster first in the test environment before upgrading your production cluster. So these are some pre-upgrade planning. First one is the standalone pods. So first you have to identify how many pods are running as standalone, which means when there will be a node upgrade, the pods will be moved from one node to another node. And in that case, there will be a disruption in the service. And this is the reason downtime has to be planned for those standalone pods. Second one is set up the pod disruption budget. If you have very critical application running in the deployment, in those cases, you have to define how many maximum number of pods can be unavailable during the upgrade. I have explained pod disruption budget in detail in the previous video, which I have shared the link in the description of this video. So the pod disruption budget is usually used for critical application as you want to ensure that a certain number of pods for your deployment should always be running and the node will not be rebooted or drained till all the pods are moved from the node, ensuring that maximum available number, which is defined in the pod disruption should always made. And the third one is the node surge upgrade. So by default, during the upgrade, every node pool will create an extra node to take care of the draining and upgrade. But if you want to reduce the time of the upgrade, you can increase the node surge upgrade, which means if you'll set the node surge value to 50% and you are running 10 nodes, that means five extra nodes will be created so that the pods will be evicted quickly onto the new nodes. And by this, you can reduce the time. However, it has a potential risk of disruption because immediately five nodes will start draining all the pods on them. And this can lead to disruption also. So you have to plan it in test environment and, and it's highly recommended that you use 33% in the case of the production cluster. So this is the upgrade process. First, we check what are the different versions available. Then based on that, we set the pod disruption budget and update the node pool with the node surge. And once this is done, we initiate the cluster and the node upgrade. And parallelly, we monitor the cluster upgrade events and check whether things are going as per the plan. Let's check this in demo. So I'll be upgrading the same AKS demo cluster, which we have been using in this whole series. The Kubernetes version is 1.21.9. One is major, 21 is minor, and nine is the patch version. And if we'll go to the node pool, there is a slight change which I have done. One is the system pool, it was already there. It has a single node. And the node pool was also there, but I have scaled it to five so that we can see how the node surge works. So there are five different nodes. So let's go to the cloud shell. Because I'm using the cloud shell, the AZ CLI is already updated here. Otherwise, if you're using your own computer or and your own shell, then you have to first upgrade the AZ CLI to get the latest version so that it will provide all the upgrades which are available for AKS. So let's check if what are the available versions for AKS. AZ AKS, get upgrades, iPhone iPhone resource group. Let's copy the resource group. iPhone iPhone name, which is the name of the cluster, which is AKS demo cluster. So 
So as you can see, it's running on 1.21.9 and the upgrades are available on 1.22.4 and 1.22.6. So let's upgrade it to 1.22.4. But before upgrade, we would like to set up pod disruption budget as well as the node search. However, I have already shown the pod disruption budget, which you can find in the description. So let's check how many pods are running. There are 10 pods running for a single deployment. Let's check the deployment. So there is a single deployment with the 10 pods and I have set up the pod disruption budget on it. So let's check the pod disruption budget. So there is a pod disruption budget policy which is defined which has maximum unavailable of three. So that means so out of 10, seven pods should always be available. So pod disruption budget is all set. Let's do the node search. So the node search can be applied on the node pool during the creation of a new node pool or you can even update on the node pool itself. So let's update it. AZ, AKS, node pool update hyphen n is the name of the node pool which is node pool in this case let's check node pool and g resource group name which you can find here and cluster name which is AKS demo cluster and if we'll define the maximum surge let's define it as 50 percent that means so out of the five nodes two nodes can be evicted together instead of the one which is done by default the node surge is updated as you can see the maximum surge is 50 percent so now we have identified that there are no standalone pods running we have set up the pod disruption budget and we have set up the node surge on the node pool so we are all set let's upgrade the cluster now az aks upgrade iphone iphone resource group let me copy the resource group quickly hyphen hyphen name aks demo cluster hyphen hyphen kubernetes version 1.22.4 so let's start the upgrade are you sure you want to perform yes so there are two options here either we can just update the control plane only or we can update both control plane as well as the node pools. So we want to do both in this case. However, I'll show how to do individual one using the portal. So it's running now and in parallel, I'll run the Kubernetes events. CTL get events so first of all it's upgrading the control plane once the control plane is upgraded then it will move on to node pools as you can see the node pools right now there is no extra node so there are only five nodes right now once the control plane is upgraded then there will be extra nodes created and you can see the status here it's upgrading the cluster is still running the applications will not be down but in the back end the control plane is getting upgraded as you can see there is one error of horizontal pod autoscaler because it can't find the deployment and the reason is in the previous videos i had created horizontal pod autoscaler and i removed the deployment but i forgot the horizontal pod autoscaler which we can remove right away now cube ctl delete 
what is on to oh sorry didn't provide the name it's deleted now let's check the events so replica set is pods are getting created let's check what's happening if we'll go to the node pool there are six nodes now and as you can see the three nodes were down together because of the 50 percent max surge now three are upgraded three are not let's check the events once again so different pods are getting created let's check the status of pods also now all are running let's check where are they running now they have been moved to different nodes now a and b as you can see so looks like all the pods are moved because they are up from few seconds only as you can see now new nodes are getting created first new nodes will be created they will be upgraded and then the previous node will be evicted there is now there are only two nodes left however the original count was five so these two nodes will be removed and there will be five with the upgraded version as you can see one is gone and yep all five upgraded now in the node pool so node pool is upgraded let's check the system pool system pool is still on the previous version let's wait now we can see the how the node search works and there were extra multiple nodes created to perform the upgrade i'll pause the video and resume once this upgrade is done so the cluster is upgraded now as you can see the version now is 1.22.4 if we'll go to the aks cluster the kubernetes version is the upgraded one if we'll go to the node pools both the node pool and the system pool are in 1.22.4 however you can see there is a difference initially when we did the cluster upgrade it was five nodes now it's three there is a reason i'll show you now when we were doing the upgrade there was a failure and the failure was due to the quota limit because this is a visual studio subscription but the quota for the course in the australia is was exceeded so this is why the cluster upgrade failed then i reduce the number of the nodes to three because during the upgrade extra nodes has to be created and if there is a quota limit in that particular region then the upgrade will fail and this is quite a good learning now so i ran the upgrade again then it ran successfully because there were enough codes to upgrade the cluster so now uh, the system pool is on 1.22.4 same with the node pool and this is how we can upgrade the cluster there is another way which I want to show is using the portal and it's quite easy. If you'll go to the node pool and if you want to set up the maximum surge, go to the configuration and here it's 50. Let's make it 30 or you can define by account apply. This will update the node pool surge percentage. Now the node pool surge percentage is updated. Let's check. You can see the surge is now 30 percent and if you'll go to the aks demo cluster and click on the version there is an option of upgrade when we click on the upgrade version then it will provide you another versions which are available so now you can go to 1.22.6 and there are two options one is upgrade everything altogether or upgrade the control plane only so if we'll select the upgrade the control plane i'm not going to do it because it takes time the last upgrade took around 20 minutes so if we'll upgrade the control plane only it will not impact anything then we have to individually upgrade every node pool so if we'll go to the node pool upgrade kubernetes so when the cluster version on the control plane will be different then their option will be here and you can apply it and upgrade the node pool
So this is how you can do it using the portal, which is quite easy. But if you want to do it through command line, I have shown it already. So that is all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.